Hey Familia Igni here and welcome back to Shadowverse. This video is sponsored by Psy Games. Check out NGE Shadowverse Open Season 2, an official Shadowverse tournament. Links to that as well as to download Shadowverse are in the video description below. Also, if you're going to be at PAX West, make sure to visit Shadowverse at the Twitch booth September 1-4 to and hopefully pick up some Shadowverse swag. The invitationals are underway and we are going to be running Catch's mid-range blood that he brought to the EU Invitational number 1. And this deck really caught my eye because it's a really different from the other blood decks that you typically see now, which is, you know, Vengeance Blood, Aggro Bat. Um, this is completely a whole different beast. You start with really strong early into mid game plays to control the board and hit their face, and then you finish off with Bandersnatch, which has that enhanced last words at the start of your next turn, put a follower that costs at least six play points on your deck into play, which will either pull a spawn or a soul dominator, which can then help you finish the game. Or you could just play soul dominator straight up off the top and hit them very hard, or likewise, spawn off the top, evolve, hit them very hard, and finish the game off. Really interesting, very different, let's see how it plays. Alright, up against Blood, but we do go first, so that's good news. Haha, <laughs> I don't know if we want the spawn in the opening hand, but we'll keep everything else. Two bodyguards, hello! Uh, move the mic here, hi, hello. Okay, so we just turn two into this, turn three into this, it's a mid-range deck, so let's just try and curve out. I can block some of the aggression here, and this is probably aggro, uh, aggro bet, so... Should be okay if we just ward up a little bit. Just a tad. Got a bunch of bodyguards to help me deal with the board also. It's either aggro bat or it's vengeance, but... In vengeance, a lot of- I don't, I don't really like running ambling wraith because it dilutes your, uh... Dilutes your air jammer pull, but hey. Maybe one drop are just... Way too valuable now to be skipped. It is vengeance in the end. Okay, I understand. Gotcha. Gotcha. I understand, buddy. You know, I think I'll just trade this here. Hmm. Mm, juicy. Juicy. Killing this, for sure. Now, whether or not I go face or trade, that's the question. Probably he's going to play Belphegor, so he's going to evolve, run the Belphegor in, putting the Belphegor to 3. The face damage doesn't matter then, because his Belphegor is going to take him down to 10. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll trade and get the bat off. If he plays Belphegor and trades, then I generate another bat, and then I can kill him, the kill his Belphegor with another bodyguard, and go face from there. This seems to be the best way to do it. He has a bodyguard instead, okay. That's less good. But I do get to bodyguard his bodyguard. And we'll just keep this back and forth going. In some weird, twisted game of, uh... Knuckling each other. Okay then. I guess that's fine. Oh. He might Belphegor now. Yep. It's like gold to me. I don't know how he knew I was out of bodyguards. How do I drain him? Oh, he drained me. Oh, crap. God, man. Oh, we're screwed now. Wait. I can, like, Vite evolve the Vite, and then all I get is a lousy, uh, ooh. Yeah, hey, we'll save that for seven, I think. It's gonna be pretty good on seven. I think this way I get a bat. That's marginally better. We can save the wardrobe later for later. Wardrobe raider for later. I like it. It rhymes, so it must be good. That's how I live my life, really, in general. If it rhymes, I do it. Now this Bandersnatch is gonna... I can't come up with a rhyme for Bandersnatch off the top of my head. <laughs> Comment below with a rhyme for Bandersnatch. Anyway. So. Air Jammer? But that's no good. You're not in Vengeance yet, eh? are you? You're not in Vengeance right now, buddy. Buddy boy. You healed out of it. So what are you going to do now? Now, if he plays like a Sabrier, I can actually run my Bandersnatch into it. That's not bad. It'll spawn a spawn or something, or a soul dominator. That's gonna be pretty good, man. Seems pretty good. He's putting himself into vengeance now. 
into Dark General. That's scary. Ah, that's a lot of damage to my face. Ah, no. Oh, no. That hurts. That depends. Does he evolve it? Trading. What? Okay. I'm confused, frankly. Play Mr. Snatch here. This one will die. It'll give me a big, big boy. And then I get to uh, Sabrier. That's his. Okay. Wow. That's very smork. That is very smork. I might just have to wardrobe Raider for heals. If he hits me here twice... <coughs> sorry, if he hits me hit twice, I'll be down to 9. I can die while I drain and then wardrobe Raider. So I'll drain the, the uh, air jammer. And then I can wardrobe Raider and uh, evolve and, and get that done. Alternatively, I can drain Sabrier. But I don't think I can full clear with that. So if he evolves this and hits this into here, let's not have two health. This is my home. Hmm. Well, that's something to think about. My food. There's a ward. Sure. Ooh. Going straight to face. Alright, I understand. Nah, trading! Trading, okay. Trading. Oh, that's pretty good! <gasps> Another rush, hello. Hello. Hi. Do I just rush rush here, or do I need to heal? How much do I need to heal? How much is this heal? Like, how much is it value? Like, I think it might be worth a lot, actually. Isn't demonic armor lovely? This might be worth a lot. Weakness the power. Try this on me. Become part of me. I want it. Do I just go face? I want it. Yeah, hit him very hard. <laughs> hit him very hard! Okay. Hopefully one thing survives. I don't know, though. He could just have, like, pretty easy ways to recover from this. More drains, for example. I die to... Double Dark General. But, other than that, I'm set. And he already played one Dark General, so I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. There's Imp. You are my food. I'm powerless. These now. aren't things that kill me. For now. So you're dead, buddy. Because I got this sick rush, and I also have this sick diabolic drain. So it looks like you're you're gone. You're a goner. You're Sarah Goner. Chronicles. Okay. Like, what does this do? Well, that worked out really well. Dang. Bye-bye. Into the face! Wow, that Bandersnatch pulling the Soul Dome turned out to be so valuable. Wow. We're up against a sword. I think I just keep Big Knuckle. Like, at, in all, at all times. <laughs> Big Knuckle is just so amazing. It's just so good. Oh, my chair is squeaking again. My chair needs to calm down sometimes. Unica. Uni Unica. Unica. Oh, man. Oh, what's wrong with my voice? Oh, my God. <laughs> Unica could be pretty valuable here, especially if it prevents him from going face all the way. And I don't want to play Baphomet into a 1 1 for sure, that's just a bad trade. So we play Unica for sure. I don't know what happened to my voice there in the beginning. I think I'm just getting tired. <laughs> uh, that's okay, that's okay. I can, I can persevere. Shadowers is more important than sleep. He's killing my dude. Hey, that's pretty good against Aggro Sword, making them kill your dude. It's pretty ace. Although that uh, ninja trainee sort of points to a, a stranger, maybe ambush-oriented version of the deck. Especially with this guy. Oh, jeez louise. Well, let's draw. Come on, Baphomet. Oh. Hold on. I'll just play the two drop. Curves out well. We can say Brewer next turn. Well, he, he, he could just evolve this and make me have a bad time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
My ally is justice. Sure. He's not trading this. He's definitely evolving this into one face. There's no other play, I don't think. There's no way he's he's trading this, man. This one's going face. You're done for. Oh, evolving that. On my royal blood. I really thought he would evolve this one. Time to settle down. Shows what I know. We're doing this to heal. I just need to be a little more out of reach. If I can counter aggress him and just be a little out of reach of this of this frog, I think we'll be okay. Especially if he plays like Albert here and I can kill it with the Sabrier. Ephemera. That's a lot of uh that's a lot of that's a lot of ambush. You see the problem with bodyguard here is that it does deal damage to me. Ah, uh, this work would be really helpful actually. Let's draw one. Now I kinda just want to save my evolve for turn eight. That could end up being really valuable as a five damage burst. Alternatively, you know, having a ward is pretty valuable in this situation, especially if he has like an Albert next turn. I don't want yeah, I need to be out of reach. Of joy, I've we will draw we will play the one drop though, just because. Even though it puts us at lower health, I think it's I think it's it's important to do this. I want to evolve this one. See, because if I evolve this one and attack in here, you can kill it with a Lyrial or a uh, <laughs> Angel of the Word. So I think this is a little more valuable. If he kills this Ambling Wraith with an Angel of the Word, I'm not going to feel too sad about it. But I want this ward up. I want this ward to absorb as much damage as possible. And give me value in a bat as well. It's the best case. Like, another consideration was just to save the spawn. The evolve for the spawn, but... I have to be careful with this. He might just have um, Cyclone Blade, which would be really bad for me. But I think he would have played it last turn if he had it. I should have foreseen this. Got him! Going second against Shadow here. It's a little nerve-wracking. Going second, I think I actually will keep this entire hand. The Wardrobe Raider could help me come back on board with the evolve. Healing me a little bit. Could be useful. Ambling Wraith is good to have turn one. This bad ribbon could help stop some aggression also. Looking for our big power plays in the mid game. Hopefully we can hit them. We'll just see what we what we draw into. Ah That's exactly what I'm talking about, actually. Yeah, that's great. Unfortunately we did draw a spawn. Uh, but this banner snatch has a chance of drawing one more spawn or a uh Another abyss. Sorry, what? One more spawn or a soul dominator. So that could be good. My brain is kind of fried today, guys. <laughs> but it's gonna be okay. We'll get through it, we'll get through it. Vite? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play the Vite here. See, now if he hits the spider up imp, I can ward her raider it. If he hits the Vite, well, it dies. That's pretty good, right? Okay. Not bad. Probably just full clear everything here. This goes bye bye. This goes bye bye. And I can spawn a bat too. Not bad. Only problem is that this gets hit by like a uh, Lyrial. But this blocks Lyrial from trading into my wardrobe raider, so that's good. That's pretty good. I feel like we've built up a pretty powerful board already. Turn 5, I could just play the Bandersnatch as a straight up rush. It's, it's a pretty good rush minion. Just to control the board a little bit more against Shadow here. Make sure that he doesn't have, you know, crazy value with Ector later on. Although, you know, even if you clear boards against Ector, it's still gonna get crazy value. That's the problem with the card. So... Foul, t foul Tempest! What?! Okay. Well, that was a shocker. I was not expecting that. Not gonna lie. What the heck? 
foul tempest of all things. Dang. Well, I'm not going to put a Bandersnatch into a Lurching Corpse, obviously. It's going to be really good if I can save an Evolve Point until spawn. Wow, no. <laughs> no, Ward. Okay. No Ward, man. I mean, I don't know if I agree with no ward here. I'm powerless for now. Weakness the power. All right, let's just hit one of the zombies and go first. Powerless? What a <laughs> Next turn, we Soul Dominator. The turn after that, Spawn of the Abyss. Evolve. Hit them for five. See, if I Soul Dominator face, I can hit them for five with Spawn or turn eight with an Evolve. And that could be powerful. Only problem is, does he have Ector? Or Cowie. Okay. Actually, I'm okay with this. Just make sure that I don't hit it with the Sabrier by accident. Ector's not lethal. Not yet. So he has to kill this, this Soul Dominator. And I don't think he can expect to spawn on Ace. And I don't think he has lethal. So we're okay. We've done it. So. This world and the next are not Kawi, not Kawi, not Kawi, not Kawi, not Kawi, not Kawi. Ho 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 We did it, boys. I'm Bye, B. <laughs> that went perfectly. That wasn't mid range, it was Neptis in the end. You know, I probably should have expected that that was Neptis and not. Mid range when they used Foul Tempest. But, uh, hey, it worked out for the best in the end anyway. But there you go, that's Catch's mid range blood that he ran in uh, NGE Shadowers Open Season 2 European Invitational number one. I like it. It's strong, it's fun to play, and it's different than the other blood decks that you see on ladder right now, so. Yeah, I'm a fan. Well, that's it for this video. Like it if you did. Don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons, patreon.com slash ignidious. If you want to help contribute to the channel as well, I would highly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.